Hello, Hofstra fans. Welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report here on GoHofstra.com. PJ Potter here with the head coach of the Hofstra baseball team, John Russo. Coach, how's everything going? Good, PJ. Thanks for having me. Tough weekend down in South Carolina, getting swept by Charleston Southern in three games. Now two and eight on the year. How tough of a team were they? No, I thought that they were a good team. Um, you know, they played all every game at home, and uh, you know, you build confidence just off of that. And um, I think it'd be a very comparable uh, CAA opponent, uh, would be fair to say. And uh, you know, they played well and uh, played better than us on the weekend, I guess. John Rooney and Jorge Marrero, two earned runs each in their outings in five and two thirds and six and two thirds innings, respectively. What did you think of their outings overall? You know, they gave us both a chance to win. Uh, you know, I think we've got to, um, you know, capitalize a little bit more than what we are on their great starts, to be honest. And uh, they're both uh, giving us, you know, into late in the games and getting us a chance to win on, uh, on offense and, you know, defensive side, I guess. In the series, seven errors from you guys, five from the Buccaneers. How difficult was it playing on that field? You know, it's just a different type of uh, surface. And, you know, one of my big... You know, uh, one of my big plans was to get us a field that'd be very comparable to uh, College of Charleston, who we opened up the, so no better team than Charleston Southern. Uh, you know, the surface was definitely faster than what we're used to playing on. Um, uh, you know, we've been playing on turf and a lot slower than that, but at the end of the day, we're, you know, Division One baseball players that have got to make plays. and. Uh, you know, we had seven errors, you know, on Tuesday. Yesterday I counted, we could have probably gotten charged with 11, you know, if it was, you know, on a different site, I would assume. And, um, you know, we just didn't handle the baseball at all. You know, and it cost us 11 unearned runs on the weekend. And, you know, for us to be in any game that we're making almost 11 errors and giving up 11 earned runs shows that the team has some potential. We're just making it too difficult on ourselves. The offensive bright spot of the series, Stephen Foster, five hits in those three games. What's been going right for him at the plate? You know, I think Stephen's hiddenly going along right now and having a, a quite good season right now and getting the start. And to be honest, Stephen's a little bit like the team right now. I think he's making it a little bit harder on himself. You know, um, I mean that by like he's having really good at bats and then he's having at bats that they're just non-factors. I think if he could just even it out and have. Uh, you know, a couple more quality at bats mixed into the at bats that he's already having good ones. He could be hitting closer to 400 and uh, doing more damage. But we won't complain at all. Stevens delivered. He's, you know, playing good defense and, and been a good um, guy at the top of the order for us. You know, the thing I'm starting to see on him is he's starting to communicate a lot more. He's starting to have, you know, good baseball terms in the dugouts when talking to the guys and giving us good reads on uh, the pitching we're seeing. So I'm happy with Steven in a lot of directions. Now jumping to today, your home opener at three o'clock against NYIT. How excited are you and your players to be back here at University Field? You know we're excited to play. You know any game, and we're excited to be at home. And uh, still hadn't really had a, a full team practice at home uh, with the field just yet. I, I think we've taken a you know one BP all season out there, and so when we hit maybe today if it's not too wet, you know it'll be the second time we've hit. So even though it's our home field, it'll be. Um, you know, it'd be just nice to not travel and play for sure. And um, you know, I know NYT would be really fired up to be playing here. It's a, you know, they treat these local games like conference games for them, and um, you know, they have a lot at stake here. Since it is a midweek game, should we be expecting a lot of arms out of the bullpen today? Yeah, you know, that's the the one thing with these Tuesday Wednesday games is a good time for guys that hadn't pitched on the weekend to shine. And um, you know, we'll start uh, Silas for one inning. Uh, to get him kind of like a bullpen since he had a short start on Sunday and then then it'll be bullpen the rest of the way out and uh, you know that the one of the advantage New York Tech will have coming into that is that they didn't play this weekend so you know we'll be seeing conference guys for them because this is sort of a conference game for them so it makes it a much tougher game on scale than you know just a Wednesday afternoon for game but you know our guys know that we're prepared and um, we'll go out and give it a good run today. Now to get back into the win column, what needs to be done in today's game and how will that affect going into this weekend's series against Troy? Well, you know, the first thing we'll have to do is, you know, everything starts on the mound right now for us. And, um, you know, it's our biggest strength as we're going on and that's something we wanted to build on. And, you know, we're going to have to get some performances from guys that hadn't pitched all that much just yet in a good tight game. And, uh, you know, right after that, I, I think the obvious thing is fielding. You know, we've got to feel that a 
better rate than what we're doing and handle on the baseball and stop giving away, you know, just, uh, I think mental errors more than anything. I, I can wear the physical errors of, you know, throwing something away on trying to make a good play or whatever, but we just seem to be mishandling the ball a lot more than uh, what the teams usually do here. And so try to go back to handling the baseball, go back to keep pitching well, um, you know, and get a couple guys start swinging the sticks a little bit better. He's that coach of the House of Pride baseball team, John Russo, coach. Thanks for everything and good luck today. Thanks, PJ.